I wanted to update you guys on these tunnels, the figs underneath the tunnels, because it's been about three weeks now since we set them up. It's been a little, it's been a little over three weeks now. Um, I think it's like 23 days or 22 days. Um, now, if you remember when we estimated, we gave you guys the timeline for this whole thing. And we conservatively estimated that by July 15th, we'll get right main crop, um, which is conservative. I said that before many times in that video. It's very possible that I could get fruit by July, July uh, 1st, I'm sorry, um, which is a whole two weeks earlier than what we conservatively estimated. Now, I'm already off, unfortunately, because it took about three weeks for them to wake up. And I could have sped that up a little bit, gave them some water. Really, what you want to do to make sure your fig tree wakes up as quickly as possible is you want wet and warm roots. So you can give them some warm water, actually, if you want to get a watering can and fill it up with warm water. Uh, that's one way to do it. But you definitely want to rehydrate the roots over the length of the, the winter and all that. It's good to, to rehydrate them. I didn't have the insight or the, really the, uh, just even the energy to come out here and even just lift up the sides and let some rain come in. There was a couple days where it did rain and it was cloudy and it wasn't really, there was very little benefit to having this plastic up at all. <coughs> and I could have just lifted the sides up and got a free watering. And uh, these guys would have been happy, but I came in here and, and hand watered everything. And by the time I did that, it was a little bit later than probably I should have done that. But all in all, we only really missed our initial estimate by a week. So I said they're going to wake up and then two weeks later they're going to, um, I said, yeah, I set the tunnels up, two weeks later they're going to wake up. Well, I set the tunnels up, three weeks later they woke up. So we're a week behind in that sense. Here's where the, the little tricky, interesting thing comes. How long is it going to take them to get 550 growing degree days? because that's how long it's going to take for them to set the fruit. Now, it's still very possible now that these trees are awake. I see the buds are swelling on here. Now that the buds are swelling, that means they are awake, but that does mean it's going to take about roughly two to three weeks. Given enough heat, given 550 growing degree days, we'll see fruits. I would estimate about three weeks. So if three weeks from now we have fruit set. That's 20 days from now. That also means on very early varieties, like let's take Pastillier as an example. Um, Pastillier will take 70 days from seeing the, the, the fruits on the tree for them to be ripe. So that means we have the 20 days that it, took, it takes to actually see the fruits plus another 70 um, on top of just getting them to be ripe. So in total, that's 90 days. 90 days is three months. Three months from today is July 1st. So as I said, we conservatively estimated July 15th when in reality we could actually very easily from this point even though we're a week behind we still could very easily see a july 1st or even a july 15th date for right main crop off of these trees so that was really what i wanted to discuss is that one the trees are awake they're barely awake they're really not awake awake but they're they're getting their sap flow going um, also, how we could have sped that wake-up process with watering them and whatnot. 
and then how we're looking in terms of the timeline and all that. Um, some of the trees, some of the branches here have some diebacks on the end, the ends of the branches. That's not the end of the world. It's kind of be ex to be expected. But as you get a little bit closer down, uh, the wood is in fact alive and it is indeed leafing out. So we're good in that sense. And the only thing left really to do is I'm gonna come in here in about a week's time, assuming this stuff is indeed uh, doing well. And I'm gonna very selectively select what branches I wanna keep. Because in this very dense system, we have to limit the number of fruiting branches. Otherwise, we just won't get fruit. And I wanna space them out very methodically to give each fruiting branch one square foot. If I do that right, we will succeed. If I don't do that right, we won't succeed. But that's it. That's the update here, guys. Take a little close up real quick. You can see actually right there, believe it or not, that's a fig forming, it looks like. It looks like a Brava, which is weird because you shouldn't have Brava forming down there, doesn't make sense. Um, and then here's some wood that's actually dying back. See that brown part of the wood there? That's, that's dead. The green stuff there is alive. So we're good. There's actually a bud right there that's swelling. I think you guys can see that. But anyway, nothing's too advanced just yet. I would say the most advanced trees are probably back here. If I had to guess. This past of the air, for some reason, is always the first tree to wake up. But I don't even see any anything growing on it. It seems like it took, took a hit this winter. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon, all right? Take care.